ladies and gentlemen, the NFL is back, which means for the next five months, all of our collective hopes hang on our quarterbacks. And as always, me and my IRL friends and some online friends are in fantasy leagues. So every week, hopefully, I'm planning on doing an extra video to break down what's happened in each fantasy league each week. This is the first week of that, so I'm going to go through all the box scores on all of the games in both leagues, talk about what I think happened. And then as we go through the weeks, I'll look at some waiver wire changes, what I think, and then we'll see how we're doing. I'm going to have a bunch of fun with this, and I hope you do too. This was my matchup in the Ghoulie 12 League. Um, it was looking a bit shaky. We got Stroud, Harris, Robinson, Evans, Collins, Freyamuth, DJ Moore, Jake Moody, and the Saints. Jake Moody, although it was close, I had won the game before he started. Um, up against Lamar Jackson, Derek Henry, Robbie Dowell, that Dordle, whatever, AJ Brown, Jalen Woodall, Ferguson, Smith, Bucker, and the Dolphins. I don't think I left any like actual progress on my bench. Oh no, I could have played um Pollard and Elliot to gain another what f two ten. Like I could have got like another like twelve points maybe. Um, if I'd have optimised, but I don't think playing Zeke and Pollard over DJ Moore and Najee Harris was actually the smart decision um, going into the week. And we won pretty comfortably. Um, can I see other people's games? Yes, we can. Um, so this was Josh versus Wag. Josh coming out with the W. Um, I, yeah, they both had pretty stinky quarterback performances, 10 points, 11 points. A chain did a fuck ton of work for Josh, getting like a quarter of his points. Yeah, A chain and Hill literally um saved Josh this week. But overall, this is no one is lighting the world on fire. Um, Ian did James. Um, uh, no, no one there is lighting the world on fire. Sixty three points sat on his bench. Dobbins, kind of left. Left a bit of a gap here. Keenan Allen, I got a lot of targets, but he dropped the ball a fuck ton. Uh, no, he didn't drop the ball a fuck ton, sorry. He dropped the ball like once. Um, Caleb Williams overthrew him three or four times. Um, yeah, kind of crazy when Bo Nix would have actually been... Oh no, he would have been a slight downgrade for Josh still. Eesh. Not a great game. Next up, we've got Reese's Pieces, which I believe is Luke. If it wants to update. Hello. There we go. Oh, it did update. There we go. Yeah, Luke versus George. Luke did pretty solid. 107 points ain't bad. Again, weak, weak quarterback scoring here. Um, Jones had a really good game. Taylor had a solid enough game. Nothing amazing. Debo coming in with the um the touchdown. Amaral St. Brown had a rough start. I'm sure we'll talk about that a bit more later. Brock Bauer. Really good game for Brock Bauer. Um, Rasheed Rice, 17 points. Huge. Um, yeah, it, it wasn't great. Um, Sanders, that's pretty solid from your kick. He'll take 10 points. Texans defense, not the one. Um, over here, literally only Joe Mixon really is acceptable. Um, Cook and Chase are okay, but you would expect more from them too. Um, although 13.3 points without um, a touchdown is pretty impressive. Um, but yeah, Mixon's the only one there that you'd be particularly impressed with. Um, 90 points left on the bench, though. Williams, Worthy. I also made the Worthy mistake in my other league. Connor. Like, if he would have made better decisions here, he's probably... Um, yeah, if he'd have taken Cooper out for Connor and brought Williams and Worthy in, he wins this game pretty comfortably. Uh, and then we've got Mick versus Oscar, I believe. If it wants to um, do its thing, which it doesn't seem to. There we go. 130 versus 117. 117 is a rough one to lose, because that's a really good score. That would have won... One, two. It would have beaten one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven teams. Uh, Jane Daniel, absolute baller performance. Monster. He seemed to get a lot of touches when I was watching that game for like no points. Gibbs, really solid game. Diggs, a really, really good game. Wilson, you'll take 12. You'll take 12 points when uh, your other wide receiver's getting 21. That's fine. Eight points at tight end is always big. Adams at 11 points is your flex. You'll take that. Another huge kicking performance. Insanity. Um, four points from the Ravens D. Nothing to write home about. Um, but that was enough to beat out Josh Allen, huge. Kamara, huge. Eckler had an okay week. CD Lamb, a little bit lower than what you'd want to see from him. Pittman, a little bit lower than what you'd want to see from him. 8.5 from your tight end is always huge. Williams as flex has underperformed a little bit. Solid enough performance from the kicker. Yeah, it's really the, the kicker here. If the kicker gets 11 points instead of 24, this game literally swips on its head. And that would be kind of in line with what you've seen a lot of kickers get. So, yeah, that's insane. Steelers tried to clutch up, but it just wasn't enough. Anyone leave a... No, they, they've they not even really left any points on the bench. All right, no DeVito, no wins, I believe, is Luke. No, it's not. Why does it need me to refresh between each game check here? Hello? There we go. So that's Josh versus Joss. Um, Jalen Hurts, a little bit low, but with the quarterback play this week, you'll definitely take that. Kyron Williams, 14 points. You're happy enough with that. Brees Hall, 18 points. You're happy enough with that. Cooper Cup, 32 points. You're laughing. Chris Godwin, 22. You are continuing to laugh. Eight points from your tight end. Again, you take that every day. Single tree, nine points at flex. Brilliant. Six points from your kicker. That's exactly what you're kind of looking for. Um, six points is kind of the bottom of what you want from your kicker. Cowboys defense, 17 points in the absolute destruction of Cleveland um, and then uh, da, 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 Joss kind of got shit kicked out of him a little bit here um, two are okay Barkley how many people do you reckon this week managed to lose a Barkley in their lineup eh? Josh Jacobs again pretty solid in that game um, but just didn't really have enough to finish it off um, Neighbours not bad for a rookie week one Harrison, very poor. Um, there there was a bit of footage of him being wide open on the last play of the game and just the ball not going to him for whatever reason. Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts finally getting the fucking ball. Zaheer White, um, or Zakir, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Um, not that great. Jake Elliott, solid kicking performance. Browns defense, very poor. And then to wrap it up this week, we have the big stinker of the week, Ian. Um, Cam scored 119 points with a solid enough team. Like basically, everyone's done their job. The points kind of match up with who people are in like the depth chart as well. Um, he'd probably want a little bit more out of his tight end and flex, but does he have something better available? I mean, yeah, he could have had Reed in there. He could have had Charbonnet in there, and that would have done better. No backup tight end is interesting. The pick of the bunch in quarterback room this week, though, Richardson and Mayfield. Oh, you take that. But we come over to Ian's side, and it is um, it is big old Strugglesville. We've got 15 points for Pat Mahomes. McCaffrey didn't play. 1.8 for Juba Hubbard. Four for Christian Kirk. Not even six for Metcalf. 6.4 for Travis Kelsey being like one of your best players is not ideal. Um, Johnson, 3.9. Tucker, outside of Pat Mahomes being his best scorer with 8 points at kicker, and then defense 6 points. Horrible, stinky week for him. Um, and it's not even like he left loads of points on the bench here. Really, really bad. You, um, you, you hate to see it for him. Hopefully, he'll be hoping his players can bounce back and be less shit. Um, later on in the season. Um, but there we go. So that puts us 
Oh, there's a, there's a wheat bone recap right here. Was that? Ah, oh, see, this is what I should have done. Oh, well. Um, so if we go to the league, we will see that I am currently second. Um, with 11th place wave priority, I am, I am, I am the second top scorer, which is why that is the tiebreaker at the minute. We're happy with where we are after one week. Thought it was going to be a little bit rough there for a minute, but that um kicking performance last night really um kicked it into gear. But let's um switch over to the other league, which uh James in chat is a part of, and we'll um we'll we'll see what we think happened over here. Um, so let's go to what am I looking for here? Oh my goodness, game center. Da -da -da -da. Recap week one. So I won a tight game in this league. I was adamant I was going to lose. Because um, if we look right here, um, coming in to when I finished play, he still had both his wide receivers to play, and I was only up by 15 points. So I thought I was sunk. Yeah, if we look here... I can't really show that well. But yeah, it was not... Um, not what you would describe as an ideal situation, but fortunately, his uh, wide receivers in Puka Nakura and Garrett Wilson both had poor showings to uh, counteract some things. So running back is where I did the best. It's also where he did the best. Our wide receivers were both not very good. Um, he still outdid me in wide receivers because he had an extra wide receiver. Um, but that didn't make up the difference. Kicking was... A big bonus to him over me. Yeah, but it, it, it doesn't stop the fact that he underperformed what you were looking for. Um, bearing in mind that that meant Garrett Wilson only like 10 points. You would have expected Puka Nakura and Garrett Wilson, even with only five quarters of play between them, to make up 15 points. Um, so yeah, I don't like this... Um, this viewing style anywhere near as much. So let me go over to here instead and go to week one. Uh, simple box score, that's what I want. So yeah. Um, so, I mean, overall, it was pretty good. Our quarterbacks were basically identical. Um, his running, his first two running backs were a fair bit better on both sides. Wide receivers were, I just won out in the actual wide receiver room. I beat him at tight end. I beat him at flex. Lost a uh, kicker, beating Big at D. Very, very close game. I didn't like that at all. Um, we discussed it a number of times. Playing someone like Ryan, who um, who auto drafts um, early, is rough. But the bench is always here and kicking. I'm willing to bet I win my bench my bench max matchups more weeks than I don't. Um, but yeah, the big stinker here is of Cross Xavier Worthy. Um, Sitting on the uh, sitting on the old bench. If I'd have had him in for Marvin Harrison Jr., this game wouldn't have even been close come the end. Um, which hate to see. Next up, we got Tom versus Fraze. Um, Fraze for a nice comfy win here. Again, Tom being an auto drafter is a, normally a rough guy to play week one. No McCaffrey may have saved him though. Um, Kyler Murray, 15 points. That felt like better than a 15 point performance watching it, but like there's not many quarterback points this week. Um, Derek Henry, 13 points, solid. He's definitely a wide uh, running back number two this year, though, with the usage they're expecting from him. McCaffrey didn't play. Cooper, piss poor. Neighbours, eh. Okay for a number two wide receiver, and really, really not acceptable when your other guy does that. Tight end, meh. ETN as flex, you're pretty happy with. Um, 23 points from your kicker is insanity. And then 12 points from your defense you absolutely take. But it was not enough. Mahomes outscored Murray. Most uh, poor, but still did better than McCaffrey. Uh, Walker, really good, 24 points. Tyreek Hill, 25 points. Nico Collins, 13 points from your number two is a really solid spot to be in. There does drop off a little bit at tight end and flex, but the damage has already been done up here. So they kind of got hidden a little bit. And the Chargers defense, 22 points, really just wrapped that up nicely. 
What a monster clash this is week one, by the way. Scoring 139 points and losing week one. You're livid. No points left on their bench either. Meanwhile, there were 78 points left on Skip's bench. He, he could have... He could have really caused some chaos. Williams and Rice, could they have both fitted in? Yeah, he could have had Williams and Rice both in instead of his two starting wide receivers. He'd have done much better. That's craziness. That's insanity. Um, but yeah, overall, this was a very, very high-scoring game. Um, both teams had a couple of guys underperformed, but they also had some monsters. The best two quarterbacks in our league this week, I believe. 35 plus 34. Running backs all scoring kind of 15 plus. Wide receivers, they each had one decent one. Um, tight ends was a, a weakish spot. Five points apiece isn't too bad though. Um, wide receiver two was a weak spot on both sides. Um, flex is where he really started to make his... I mean, that is literally the winning winning difference right there. Um, and then kick out cat. That Bears defense has absolutely done a job on poor anchor. Uh, 34 points, three sacks, two interceptions, one fumble, and two defensive scores is pretty difficult to overcome. Up next, we've got Scott versus Dad, or Andrew. I don't know how I'm going to refer to him for this. We'll work that out. Um, this was another like decently high scoring affair, at least partially. Like, 117 is not a bad score. Like that would be one, two, three, four, five people this week. So it's top half of the league kind of score. Um, but it just wasn't enough. Lamar Jackson absolutely balling out 35 points, Montgomery with 19, Singletree with 8, Cup with 21, Lamb with 10, Pitts with 9, Adams with 6, Jake Moody with 27. And the Seahawks defense with 19 is like, that's a really well, that might be the most well-rounded scoring we've seen from an individual team so far. Um, Jalen Hurts, not bad by any stretch. Kamara, really good. Williams, really good. Samuel, really good. Chase, kind of poor. Kittle, comparatively poor. 4.6 in our league for a tight end isn't bad, but comparatively, you lose a lot of ground there. Solid showing from Zach Moss at flex. Um... Kicking was just blown out of the water. That's really a difference maker. There was that 19 points difference. A lot, lot closer if that's different. And then the Ravens defense just, I don't think was the right choice for this week. 104 points left on the bench though. Reed and Stevenson both left on the bench. Oh, and Jones. Mm. So you could have got all three of them in for only positive points. Yeah, that's rough. That's one where you feel like you've lost it a little bit there. Um, really, really do head see. He could have played Pollard, though, farther for an extra 11 points um, up here, or even an extra 13 up here. And then the one James is not looking forward to, he got, you've, you've been blown out, my friend. I mean, there's not a lot you can do to it. And actually, you got a lot closer than I thought you were going to get. For a minute there, I thought he was going to drop 170 on your forehead. Um... Not that that's particularly helpful, but I did think that was the case for a minute there. Um, Dak Prescott, piss poor. Doesn't matter when you have Joe Burrow, who was also piss poor. Um, Saquon Barkley has bent you over. Um, Ford and Pacheco did pretty well, but it just wasn't enough. Like, Ford and Pacheco together didn't quite match Barkley. So, like, White was just, like, pure profit in this situation. Um, Brown, again, monster game. Um, Evans, really good game, but you didn't have someone to make up ground here. I thought Brown would let you close a little bit of that gap, but it just wasn't enough. Fortunately, if you DK Metcalf wasn't that much better, so didn't really drive away at that point. Um, tight end, you lose a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. You... Joe Mixon has balled out for you. He's done his best. Unfortunately, Schneed really limited how much he's let you catch back up there. Kicker's dead even. Big, big difference um, here. Big, big difference. Um, it just is not the one that you wanted. Um, and it does suck, but sometimes defense is a good defense. I don't know how you thought the Browns against Dallas was going to be a good, good matchup. 
Um, maybe not that bad, but anyone who can get someone playing against the Panthers is a, is a solid, solid pick for sure. Um, how many points you leave on your bench? Not loads. I mean, you could have got a bit more with um, Robinson. Yeah, you could have got a bit more of Robinson. You could have got an extra two points out of it, but wouldn't have made much difference. You could have put Tank Dell in for an extra few, um, but it wouldn't have really got you close. Um, and he could have played a better quarterback for 20 more points. Um, yeah, but that's last year, James. Um, insanity week one though lots of insane games i had a lot of fun watching it it was good it was good to have the nfl back for sure um gonna be some people fuming at certain players not playing a lot of players got little niggles and hurt a little bit jordan loves obviously hurt a chan's a little bit worried puka naku is out for a little while not not good your optimal lineup was on 28 so yeah nothing you can do then you just gotta live with it um there's definitely going to be some movement on the old waiver wires based on injuries and people. Um, definitely going to be interesting to see where the season goes.